Hello friends and hello students. My name is Ashok Sijala. In this session, we learn the series programming in C language. So first, I <coughs> share my laptop screen and here fix the position so you can watch better way my video lecture. And here for C++, I double click and take some process. And now yes, is uh, open. So alter F file menu, take a new file. And here our goal, write a program to print series some yes so first uh, that uh, write a program to print series sum <clears throat> so yes sir uh, here one then minus x just that type of series then plus and x rest to Two, yes, here rest two means upon. So that sign I use two, and then divide by two factorial. Then again that is uh, minus, and that is we have to say x upon three and divide by uh, three factorial, and then plus. So that is a continuous process x upon four and divide by 4 factorial that is dot dot means n number of times so we can say that x rest upon uh, n capital and divide by n factorial so that type of series so here you can look first means that is a uh, x rest to 0 and divide by 0 factorial so that is a 1 and then minus sign and that is a x upon 1 and divide by 1 factorial so that is a x so here is a 0 and here is a 1 so again that is a x raised to 2 and divide by 2 factorial so here is a 1 upon and divide by 1 factorial here is 0 upon and divide by 0 factorial so that is a 1 so what is a value of x so we can uh, scan at a runtime so we can uh, solve the like uh, we can assumption x equal to 2 yes and n equal to we can provide like 4 so 4 terms so how that looks series so first that is a 1 is fixed so we can some paper work minus so 2 yes uh, that is a we can say that x is 2 and upon that is sign and that is a first is 1 and divide by 1 factorial then plus sign then we can say that uh, 2 upon uh, that we can say that 2 and divide by 2 factorial so that is a we can say that 4 terms so here 1 is uh, that is 1 term that is a second term that is third and now minus and that is a fourth term so we can say that uh, 2 upon 3 and divide by 3 factorial so how the solution of that uh, series so here 1 is fixed and minus 2 rest to 1 so 2 and divide by 1 factorial so that is 2 and then plus sign 2 rest to 2 so 4 and that is a 2 factorial so that is a divide by 2 and minus sign then 2 raised to 3, so that is 2 by 2 by, so that is a 2 multiplied to 4 and 8, and divide by, uh, that is a 3 factorial, so that is 6, yes, now we can solution, so 1, that now we have to solve, so first divide operation, so uh, plus, then divide by 4, 2, and minus, and that is a minus 1.33. Yes, that is a float value. And last that we have to, here we can look of minus two and plus two, two. So that is an minus one and plus one. So that is a gone. So that is a result 0 0.33 and that is a minus. So that is our four term answer. So now that I can convert in our programming. So now I can, provide that type of value in our programming so i give multi comment line so that is a paper work yes some student not understand what is a paper work so you can solve that uh, formula or any series or pattern so that is a we can paper uh, develop some paper work so that
that is very easy now you have to understand program so series program is always so we can some paper work and hand implement so now we can start our coding so here we can take as uh, that is series so i that is and number of term and x so that is variable and float variable so some yes uh, so we can initialize not any garbage so 0, 0.0 and that is yes and factorial so that is also uh, we can take as fact one directly factory one so that is our factorial <coughs> so first we can scan so we can say that enter number of this uh, here number of terms that type of word and we can scan the n variable so that is a percentage d and m percent n and now we can scan also x so you can give any value for x variable so enter x value and we can assumption two but you can enter any value for x so here and now we can start our for loop so that is i1 it is not array programming so i start one array programming start i is zero so here i one i less than equal to n and i plus plus so what to do so first or requirement of that series is a fact uh, divide by so fact that is one and fact uh, so multiply i so that is our requirement so that is a series of like factorial and then one if condition you can look here some plus minus combination so where is a plus and where is a minus so here that is first add is the first one so that is a you can say that odd number and that is x so here we can start as zero upon and yes and here one so that is a minus is a we can say that odd and plus is a even yes even odd logic so here we can divide i modulo 2 and that is sum equal to sum yes in even number that is plus sign so we can use as a power function yes so power function we can use one header file and that is a math dot h yes math dot h that is header file for power function so here upon and divide by factorial that is our fact so you can look at our series so divide by factorial yes that part i can cover and that is a our x rest to i that is a upon so we can use as a power function so here we can pass x upon i yes that our series and as part same sum equal to some minus that does that is a code so x i and that same fact that is complete our series and then change the sum so let us check zero to the summation of series series r or a percentage uh, dot two f because that is uh, factorial so yes uh, some we can give the factorial and x yes x uh, we have to yes not uh, but that integer so power function require the float value but uh, some x is integer i is also integer so we can take x is a float value so let us check first that work or not perfectly so yes, here I can remove this press and provide the get ch. So yes, that perfectly our answer or not. So I first save that file. So here we can say that uh, some even odd logic and that is series programming. So series first three letter and we can say that factorial is there and even odd logic is also there. So yes, x term yes not the fact. So it is maximum eight character and dot c. So yes, that name is already there. So you can look some different name. So here I can press F2 and series underscore um, even odd. Yes, even odd. So I can give 
even yes, but uh, even or odd. So maximum we can eight characters. So that's even or odd. So one I can only provide that file name. So now I can compile. There is no any error. Yes. So first attempt. There is no any error. And dy the four that is our paperwork. So and x is two. So yes, that not uh, perfect. So that is a not rounding. So we can pass as a float value. So 67, that is answer. So we can pass this here, our solution. So yes, four term and minus zero point. So some one term we have to already calculate. Yes, so that is one, two, yes, one, some, yes, some here provide the one, yes, that is a remaining, so it is a creating problem. And let us check, I again run, yes, that some you have to initially, and now, yes, four term. So now that look better, first, that the minus, yes, so that is a positive value. So yes, we can, let us check that positive, so here that is a, first I open the comment line so we can understand better way. So yes, uh, that is a minus uh, or plus. So that is gone and minus that is, we can divide. So four, two is here, two plus two one and minus. So that is yes, minus, no, positive. Here plus is one and minus 33. So here our answer is even and odd. So factorial is. Yes. So we, we can take as x is a float. So that is a, I think let us check. And here now float f means that the formatting symbol because that is a power function requirement. So yes, here that I open the comment line, so that taking error. Now that perfectly, and yes, I think, so that answer is perfectly. Yes, one term we have to provide in sum, so I can give yes, that three term and two. So yes, now that perfectly, yes. So one term we have to consider as a sum assigned to one. So I give only three term. So one term we have to already, uh, assigned to some variable. Now that perfectly answer. Yes, look here. So I already first give this one that is considered as a our first term one assigned to directly to some. So we can only provide the t term because one we have to provide as directly some variable because that is a I start to one not zero. So first term is a x raised to here we can say that zero and divide by zero factorial. So that is a one, yes. And then x raised to one and divide by one factorial. So th that is a x. So here directly that series taking one and I assign the sum. Now there is no problem. You can take x as a integer, but that is our perfect answer. So we can take one paperwork, but we can provide as a three terms. One term I already assigned to sum as a one, 1.0. So directly we have to calculate. So that is our answer minus 0 0.33. That is perfect. There is no, so that is how you can show that is perfect. So we can assign some paperwork. Yes, here we can first achieve to uh, manually our answer how that series as a four term. So four term one, we can take as a sum directly. So we can consider only enter T term. So first term we can directly calculate because sum that is the zero we have to not taking it divide by zero so all are zero so that is we can sum assign to yes that is in your mind question why I can assign to sum directly one so if you divide by zero so I equal to here is zero so in maths rules you have to uh, like here upon the zero yes and uh, that is also possible let us check we can testing not I can sure i think because not divide by zero because that is upon and yes but here yes here is something wrong also uh, divide multiplication of zero any value that is all are zero so but fact is one so let us check i 
I assign to zero here start. And we cannot assign sum to one. So here sum equal to 0, 0.0. So let us take that uh, give the perfect answer. We can now give the four term. So and x2. So that is all our zero. So that is a problem. So so I can previously testing. So I can give one here, and that is I start one. So zero all are zero. So that is a problem because here some division and that is a multiplication all are so that is math rules you have to divide or zero so all are zero so that is a creating problem so we can start a second term so one term we can consider directly the sum so now i can give t and 2x and then you can look our paper work so that is minus 0 0.33 answer so very slow answer in series program, there is very uh, minus in minus one or greater one in between that is answering the series program, almost all series, but some series is taking more answer, but that is a common observation. So yes, uh, write this program to your C notebook. Yes, here we can very interesting. That is factorial, that series programming. So now I can close that file and then quit. So subscribe my channel or shook like a day. Press the bell icon to never miss any update. Thanks for your watching, supporting, and sharing my video lecture. And Hare Krishna.